coming to pathophysiology there is an obstruction at the mitral valve so la content cannot go into lv cavity obviously it increases your la pressure this la will reflect back on the pulmonary venous system from there it goes back into pulmonary artery and rv outer load is increase always you have to remember that rv cannot tolerate the pressure overload it takes bit of volume but pressure overload it cannot tolerate so obstruction to la your la pressure increase your pulmonary venous pressure increase your pulmonary artery pressure increase and your rv after load is increased next is there is increase la pressure which increases your la size when the la dimension goes up it patient is prone for atrial fibrillation another important thing is your pulmonary venous pressure increases when the pulmonary venous pressure increases they are prone for pulmonary edema which is due to a variation in starling's equation and there is an obstruction at the mitral level so there is an underfill left ventricle these are all the various pathophysiological features which happen with mitral stenosis your left ventricle function is usually normal but underfill sometime the ejection fraction of the left ventricle can be altered this might be due to an ongoing active rheumatic carditis chronic underloading of the left ventricle sometimes the patient might be having concomitant coronary artery disease and if the pulmonary artery pressure is there there might be right ventricular enlargement and this right ventricle can push the septum to the left side compromising the left ventricle coming to right ventricle the right ventricle is usually normal in the absence of pulmonary hypertension but if pulmonary hypertension sets in there is going to be oxygen supply demand imbalance as well as a secondary abnormality of left ventricle also here normally the right ventricle is eccentric shape and the left ventricle is circular and the cross sectional area of the right ventricle is one third of the left ventricle but what happens with severe pah here now the right ventricle assumes a semi spherical shape that means it occupies the larger cross sectional area and your oxygen demand supply will be altered now you can see the septum being pushed towards the left ventricle and the left ventricle function is also compromised